Welcome to WebSquare 5 Tutorials. This video shows how to bind select box with data list and submit data. Under WS5, Web Contents, Training, and Type to Folder are located these three files used for this exercise. In this exercise, you will create data list and bind data list with select box and submit data to the data list by creating and executing submissions. WS5, Web Content, Training, and Type 2. Training to UI XML. Let us check the page on the browser. What we want to do is to display data in these two boxes. On the XML file, you can see these are two select box components. For the first select box, training to info code gender text file has the submission info URL action. Data to send. Keys of the data to send. Data to receive. Columns of the data to receive. For the second select box, training to info code position text file has the submission info, URL action, data to send, keys of the data to send, data to receive, columns of the data to receive. The first select box receives multiple data, so we create a data list. As defined in the text file, we define the data list ID as DC code 101. Copy the column structure of the data list from the text file and paste on the data collection window. Apply and close. For the first select box, a single data is sent, so we create a data map. As defined in the text file, we define the data map ID as DC RIC code. Copy the key structure of the data map from the text file and paste on the data collection window. On the outline head tab, we can check the data list columns and the data map keys that we have just created. Double click the first select box. Check bind item set. Select the data list that we previously created. And select label and value columns. You can also set the choose option. Let us put select gender as the choose option message. Save. And reload the page. The first box displays only the select gender message and no code is displayed. We need to add a submission that will fetch the code to the data list that is bound with the select box. Reference is the data to send, so select the data map that we created. That is DC RIC code. Target is the data to receive, so it is DC code 101. The URL action is defined in training to info code gender text file. Copy and paste. Process message is displayed during the submission. Let us put submission being executed. The text file shows the data to send through the data map. So we have to set this specified data in the data map for the submission. So, let us add the submit event. The event script is automatically added. Enter DC under bar. DC RIC code and DC code 101 are suggested. 
select DC RIC code. As defined in the text file, set group code as 101 in the DC RIC code data map. For more information about APIs, see the API guide. Save and reload the page. The first select box still does not display any code. This is because we have not executed the submission. The existing code is to alert a message upon page loading. Instead, execute the submission. Use $p execute submission API and specify the ID of the submission to execute. Submission 1. Save. And reload the page. Gender code is displayed on the first select box. Press Ctrl and right click and select View Data Collection. We can see that the data has been set in the data map and data is submitted the data list. Now, let us move to the second select box. This time, use training to info code position text file. Data to send. Data to receive. Create a data list for the second select box. As defined in the text file, we define the data list ID as DC code 02. Copy the column structure of the data list from the text file and paste on the data collection window. On the outline head tab, we can check the data list columns that we have just created. Double-click the second select box. Check bind item set. Select the data list that we previously created. And select label and value columns. Click all option to display all to select all selection items. Save and reload the page. The second box displays only all and no code is displayed. This time also, we need to add a submission that will fetch the position code to the data list that is bound with the second select box. Reference is the data to send. As specified in the text file, we select DC RIC code. Target is the data to receive, so it is DC code 02. The URL action is also specified in the text file. Process message is displayed during the submission. Let us put submission being executed. According to the text file, we have to set this specified data in the data map before the submission starts. So, let us add the submit event. This time, we set the group code as 02. Lastly, we have to execute the submission. $p execute submission and the submission ID, that is submission 2. Save and reload the page. The second box also displays the position code. Now, let us fetch data to multiple data lists through a single submission. Reference is for the data to send. So DC RIC code. Target is data to receive. We want to receive data for DC code 101 and DC code 02. In other words, you can add multiple data lists. For the two data lists, the URL action is same.
get code list. As the process message, let us put multiple data lists. Now, we have to set the data in the data map. For the previous submissions, we set group code separately as 101 and 02. Now, we set the group code as 101 and 02 at the same time. Disable the code that executes submission 1 and submission 2 separately. Save and reload the page. You can see, no gender code nor position code submitted. Now, let us execute submission 3, that fetches data for two data lists at the same time. Save, and reload the page. Both gender code and position code are displayed. Press Ctrl and right click, and select View Data Collection. We can see that the data has been set in data map and submitted to data lists. Thank you for watching.